Hey, what is going on? Welcome to another training here. My name is Julian Rosen, head coach at Wake Up Wealthy, and today I'm gonna to show you how to end anxiety forever. All right, I know that's a pretty bold claim, right? ending anxiety forever, ending unnecessary suffering forever. But on our journey and growth and evolution, it's, it's achievable. And it's actually, when you think about it, after you watch today's training, after you watch today's video, you'll understand that it actually goes literally against everything we've been taught growing up, everything we've been taught about success and achievement, all these things. And here's the best part, follow me through the entirety of this training and you'll see that not only when you make this switch in your mindset, will you suffer less and anxiety will be removed from your life, but you'll actually end up achieving more. <laughs> you'll actually end up making more money, helping more people, uh, succeeding at a higher level, increasing the caliber and consistency of what you do. You'll actually increase all those things with less pain, with less anxiety, with less unnecessary suffering. And before we get into the training, I just wanna share a little bit about my story because I suffered a lot. Now, it, a lot of it was unnecessary suffering, but I suffered a lot because I had this feeling, right? I had this feeling, especially ever since my mom died. My mom died when I was 23 to breast cancer and I went into a really deep depression, was put on a bunch of pills and medications and, and that's not good, bad, right or wrong, but I was in a very dark place. I was suffering, I was in a lot of pain. And I was like, how do I make this pain go away? And obviously drugs and drinking help for a little bit, but that caused more problems than solutions. So I'm like, okay, what is a way that doesn't kill me? What is a way I can make this, this pain go away? And that's when I really started to look at ways to take my pain and turn it into purpose and start helping people. And so I really got in, I got into fitness coaching. I got certified as a trainer, started training people in person, started training people in groups, started training people online. Before I knew it, I was running a gym, had an online business. Things really escalated quickly. And I was achieving a lot of things and making a lot of money. But guess what? The suffering never went away. The anxiety never went away. Because what I was doing is I was using achievement and validation to get a momentary break from pain and suffering. And you're a smart person watching this. If you never address something at the source, what's gonna happen, right? Let's say you have a leak in your basement, right? And a pipe is leaking and your basement keeps flooding. You can go down and drain the basement every time it floods, but what will happen if you never go down there and find the source of the leak and repair it and replace the pipe and seal it up? You'll never have any lasting change. And that's what I was doing. And I didn't know I was doing it. I was doing it unconsciously, just like you might be doing right now. But here's what we're taught as a society. We suffer. We have something that causes us pain. We have this guilt when we're not taking action. We feel like we're not doing enough. We feel like we don't have enough. We feel like we're not making enough. And that, 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 that feeling of guilt, that feeling of I'm not where I should be, a thought I've thought to myself thousands of times, maybe you have too, I'm not where I should be, I'm not where I should be, that creates suffering, that creates internal pain. And guess what? It's uncomfortable. And we're humans. If something causes us discomfort, we wanna get away from it. So what do we do? A lot of us, to get away from the suffering, we do something what we think is noble. We go achieve. We go make money, we go scale a business, we go close more clients, we go help more people. I was helping lots of people. I was doing good in the world. But guess what? Every time I would help a client have a breakthrough, every time I'd, I'd hit a new milestone in revenue, ah, for like a day, for a day, I would get a break from my suffering. For a day, it would go away. But then guess what? I would wake up the next day or I'd wake up the next Monday and boom, the feeling was there. And I was just on this roller coaster. And here's the thing, you may think this too. If I just achieve the next big thing, the suffering will go away forever. I'll be safe forever. I'll, I'll have inner peace forever. And it's just simply not true. Your inner world will always construct your outer world. Meaning what's going on in the level of your thoughts, your emotions, your internal energy will always influence the circumstances you find yourself in, will always, always impact the opportunities or not opportunities, the, the, the wins and the losses. Truly, your inner world will determine all of this. And neuroscience is showing this, quantum physics is showing this, psychology is showing this, bioenergetics is showing this. Truly, science has shown what spiritual masters have been saying for thousands of years. What's going on inside is what you're gonna experience outside in some way, shape, or form. This is what Carl Jung called the shadow. You will experience yourself reflected back to you. That, that's what your life really is. And so if you're, on this, if you're on this loop thinking, 
ah, I don't feel good. I don't feel like I'm enough. I feel like something's missing. I don't feel successful enough. I need more, I need more, I need more. And there's nothing wrong with being ambitious. There's nothing wrong with wanting to evolve and expand. That's beautiful. That's why you're on this earth. But if you spend some time in stillness by yourself, you will know the difference. Are you really craving expansion? Or are you craving the next achievement so you can get a momentary break from the internal suffering? Now, wouldn't it be great to just alleviate the suffering at its source so that you no longer have this guilt monster chasing you if you don't achieve enough? If you have this worry and anxiety monster chasing you if you don't uh, make enough money or help enough people or, or hit certain goals? And again, I'm not telling you to become unambitious. You'll see that when you make this change, because at Wake Up Wealthy, we've helped hundreds of guys make this exact change. And guess what? When they alleviate the cause of their suffering, they don't atrophy into a blob of nothingness. They actually make more money, help more people, and do it in a more peaceful way because guess what? They're no longer wasting energy ruminating about guilt and anxiety that doesn't really exist in the objective world. It only exists in here. When you can solve it at its source, you unlock. Think of all the energy and time you use with your mind wandering about what might go wrong or what went wrong in the past or what people might think or you know if you fail and you lose all your money and you end up alone that's what i always used to think if i do this and i fail and i lose my money i will be alone that thought consumed so much time and energy and created so much suffering and anxiety in my life and guess what no achievement made it go away it numbed it for a little bit but it didn't make it go away and so if this is happening in your life join the club it's part of the society we grew up in it's part of what our parents were taught by their parents and what their parents were taught by their parents. Go work hard and go achieve and you can feel good for a little bit, but then the guilt comes back, the shame comes back, the not having enough comes back, the not being as successful as you should comes back. It's a vicious cycle that will take your life from you. It'll take time from you. It will cause so much stress and raise cortisol levels in your body. It'll prematurely age your cells and kill your muscles. It prematurely kills your neurons. Chronically elevated stress levels literally will slowly kill you. So why not do it differently? Right? Doesn't that sound good? Wouldn't it be awesome if you could wake up every day and just feel peaceful and go kick ass? If you could wake up every day feeling good in your own skin and go make a bunch of money that helps people and helps yourself, you can have that too. It's not a, it doesn't have to be mutually exclusive. You can feel really, really good and be peaceful and be super productive, super successful and achieve a bunch of awesome stuff. You just won't be attached to it. You won't be defined to it. Right? This is where transformation is so important. I call it healing because think about it. What does the word heal mean? The word heal means to come back into normal, optimal alignment, right? If you break your bone, if you break your arm, guess what? It gets set in a cast and then your body just brings it back. Your body heals it on its own. Your body brings it back into alignment. It restores it back to its natural function, the way it was supposed to be. That's what healing is. It's a restoring to the natural process of how things should be because the most natural ways are the most best ways. And so when you can heal, then you can actually activate your true greatness. Right now, if you're here, if you're suffering and then hustling your way to an achievement so you get a momentary break from suffering just to end up back at suffering, I guarantee you, you're scratching the surface of your potential. Because I was doing it, right? I was doing the exact same thing. And it wasn't until I started to really actually utilize neuroscience, quantum physics, bioenergetics, psychology, NLP, things to actually help heal myself and change myself. Guess what? Once I healed the cause of my suffering, I was no longer a slave to achievement. So I could activate deeper levels of my skill set. A couple years ago, I couldn't get on a camera and talk to you like this because I was still suffering. I hadn't activated my true greatness. I couldn't coach the men that I coach. I couldn't create hundreds of breakthroughs every single year, helping hundreds of guys create over, at this point, 289 million in revenue collectively within the brotherhood. Like we couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. If I hadn't gone inward and chose to heal first, when you heal, then you activate who you really are. You activate your real gifts. You activate a new caliber and consistency of action and intention and consistency. Then you can achieve all you want. You can achieve all you want, all the money you want, all the, all the impact you want, all the inner peace you want. You'll see that they all fit together. But if you're ignoring your inner state, if you're saying, hey man, I'll get to my anxiety once I hit the next goal. Hey man, I'll work on this guilt, that key. I'll work on this tension I feel in my body all the time. I'll work on this people pleasing. I'll work on this fear of scarcity. I'll work on all that once I hit the next achievement. That is what addicts say to themselves. If you don't address it at the core, if you don't address it at the core, you're stuck on the loop. Heal. 
And so you may be watching this and being like, well, dude, I don't know, like, what do I heal? I don't know. I just have this anxiety. I just have this, I just have this, this, uh, this guilt if I don't do enough. Well, dude, there's a story inside of you. Your unconscious mind is like a mega computer. It stores everything. Your unconscious mind lives around you. It lives within you and it lives around you. And, it, and it, like I said, it has all the information you could ever need. So you need to spend more time with yourself. You need to spend more time getting into a cadence with yourself. You need to withdraw your attention from the outside world, which we're constantly obsessed with and reacting to. And you need to go inward. And the answers are there. And you don't need to force the answers either. Healing, right? Just like a bone healing itself. There's no force. There's acknowledgement and alignment. That's why at Wake Up Wealthy, we walk every single guy that comes in our program through a transformation system called the Mastery Method. And 90% of it is about healing your mindset, healing your belief system, healing from any conflicts or stressors or traumas that may be lingering from your past so that you can activate new levels of achievement. That's it. And yeah, there's some awesome business tactics in there and some really cool performance optimization in there, but the, the, the majority of this stuff is just getting out of our own way. So you can be happy, you can be peaceful. And you don't have to, like, that's the thing. If you are no longer a slave to this cycle, anxiety goes away. Because anxiety is what? Anxiety is that obsession with what's next? What's next? What if what's next is bad? What if I don't make it? What if I don't make it enough? What if I'm not good enough? What's next? What if, what if I get judged next? What if, what if something bad happens next, right? It's this infatuation with, oh my God, what's gonna happen next, right? When you can heal and you stop this internal cause of self-suffering, the need, the obsession with what's next fades away because you don't need what's next. You'll have it, you'll seize it, you'll create it, you'll respond positively and courageously to it when you work on yourself, but you're just not as obsessed with it. Here's the thing, in the present moment, anxiety can't really exist. Truly can't, right now, right? Look at this, look at the screen, hear my voice. Become aware of the space between you and the screen. Feel the temperature of the room on your skin. Breathe. Feel yourself breathing. Feel your eyelids. Feel your tongue on the bottom of your mouth or maybe it's on the roof of your mouth. Just hear my words. And if you're really here, you're having a momentary break from stress, anxiety, or guilt, right? Now, once you start thinking about what's next or thinking about things that aren't happening in your objective reality yet, you'll have that feeling come back, that feeling right it's somewhere in your inner body, right? But like, when the obsession of, oh my God, what's next? When the obsession leaves, peace takes its place. And again, ask yourself this. How do you perform when you're peaceful, present, feeling grateful for what you have, and you're in the, in the moment, right? That's the only place you can access a flow state. If you've ever experienced a flow state, it's the most valuable use of your time and energy, right? Or do you perform when you are addicted to achievement, trying to escape the suffering, feeling guilt, feeling anxiety, obsessed with what's next, right? Like, which version of yourself do you wanna be more? And why? Again, after helping hundreds and hundreds of people, I could tell you that when you heal, your greatness activates, your achievement skyrockets. I've seen it in my life, I've seen it in the hundreds of men's we've helped here at Wake Up Wealthy. So, when it comes to resources, when it comes to resources to actually going inward and identifying what, what are my subconscious limits? What are my subconscious beliefs that are causing suffering? Maybe there is some trauma that needs to heal. That's cool, we all have it. If you go to wakeupwealthy.com, we have tons of trainings, tons of meditations, ton of neuroscientifically engineered hypnosis and NLP sessions. To, we let everything you need to not only build a seven-figure business, but to build a prosperous, peaceful, and powerful mindset. It's all there. All there. It's free. Go find it. Go use it. But until you make the choice, you'll be stuck on this. And I guarantee you, this just keeps scaling up. The next achievement is going to save me from my suffering. The next achievement is gonna bring me security and safety. The next achievement is going to end anxiety. It's not. Because remember, just like the flooding in your basement, just like the leaky pipe, if you don't address it at the core, it's just gonna keep on going and keep on going and keep on going and keep on going. So head to wakeupwealthy.com. Start consuming those trainings. You'll learn how to optimize your mind. You'll learn how to heal and bring things back into optimum alignment and organization and optimization. You'll, you'll, tons of free meditations, tons of free things to use there. We want to help you. We want to serve you. If you are an ambitious man who is on a path to make more money, help more people, maximize that potential so that when your head hits the pillow at night, you feel good. 
when your head hits the pillow at the end of this life, you feel good about it. That's, that's why we're all fucking here. So get honest with yourself. If this is what's going on in your life, this path will end suffering. This path will end anxiety. For more resources, go to wakeupwealthy.com, use them, and you'll see that it works just like it's worked the hundreds and hundreds of times it's worked before. Talk soon.